Okay, use the rectangle tool to draw a rectangle and go in and use the tape measure to rescale it. Move out so you can see what I'm scaling it to. I'm going to do eight feet. And it asks you if you want to rescale the model, you click yes. Zoom out. Now let's use the offset tool. Click to draw a door frame. Go down and use the line tool to draw two lines to cut off the bottom. And use the eraser tool to erase that bottom line. Now click the select tool and delete that square and the erase tool to delete that line. Now let's use the push pool and push it out. Doesn't really matter how far you push it. Now we're going to triple click to create a group. While it's still in a group, use the rectangle tool to draw a rectangle. And triple click the rectangle, make that a group. Now let's move it using the move tool to the midpoint of the frame, door frame. Now we're going to click out and select both of the groups to make one component. Let's name it Swinging Door Sample. And right click on the swinging door, then to go to the component attributes. Now you want to name both of the groups, so click the door leaf and name it door leaf. Click the door frame. Let's name it door frame. And we'll click out. Now you want to click in the door leaf. And I already have the command that we want to add an attribute and the, scroll down to on click. And I already have the command already in there, but you can pause the video and copy the command that I wrote there. Once that's done, enter. You want to click outside of that box. And let's go to the tools, interact. Click on the door once, and then again to open and close. And that's how you create dynamic component to a swinging door.